The Georgian Bay of Lake Huron up in Ontario, Canada is my favorite place to fish on the entire planet, especially my favorite place to fish for smallmouth bass. You're in the middle of nowhere, miles and miles away from any other people, fishing arguably the best smallmouth bass waters on the entire planet. Trying to hide from the wind, guys, but check that fish out. Freaking tank. up there for four years because of COVID. So I've been absolutely fiending to get up there and catch some of these giant smallmouth bass. It finally happened. I was finally able to get up there. Now I caught so many incredible fish. I have so much footage I need to go through. I think what I'm going to actually do is put together like a 45 minute to hour long movie style video that encompasses the entire trip and just the entire experience. But that is a ton of work and I have so much like footage that I need to go through that I wanted to get a couple videos out before that just kind of like showcasing some of the some of the most memorable catches of the trip. Now I did already drop a video that was kind of like a side mission day. We kind of got stranded on an island. We went out and we had to like walk over into this like little pond area that was loaded with some really big smallmouth bass and some nice northern pike and you know that was kind of like a side mission day so I went ahead and did that as an entire video. I'm going to put that video link in the description so you can check it out. The first fish that I wanted to show you guys in this video I actually caught on that day. If you've watched that video, you've already seen this, but this is such an incredible fish that it definitely deserves being showed off more than once. Oh, there he is. That's a big smallie now. He was right in that weed bed. He was inside the weeds. Oh, this is huge, huge. It's a five pounder. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was this big. This just got serious. This thing, oh, there's, there's like five with them. Jake, this is a big fish. They're all with them. This is pretty. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's not as big as I thought, but it's big. It's like four. Oh. Yep, that was freaking cool. All the other ones were with them, following them in. I had no idea this fish was that big until it jumped. That is insane. That is, that's a stud. It's probably like 19. I don't know, it's big, it's fat. Woo -hoo, let's go. I was pulling it through the weeds. I stuck on weeds and he hit it. That's probably my biggest bass of the trip so far. Probably four. Probably four and a half pounds, honestly. That is a freaking monster. <laughs> oh man, that's a nice fish, guys. I'm trying to hide from the wind, guys, but check that fish out. Freaking tank, let's go. Let's go, guys. Probably just pull a picture off of this. Literally stranded back. Let me spend the night back here. But this makes it worth it. Let this stud go. Oh, how fat that fish is. That is a freaking tank, guys. Probably, if I had to guess, it's probably about 18 and a half, 19 inch fish. Look how freaking broad he is. Look how broad that fish is. That is awesome. I never see them in there, same size. Let's go. That was a stud. That fish was just so freaking fat. Now I say in the video like four, four and a half pounds, but honestly, that fish may have very well been five pounds just because of how fat it was. I've actually like caught and weighed fish up there that were only 18, 18 and a half inches that were pushing five pounds. And this fish was so freaking fat and just so strong and just so thick across the back that 
it could have been five pounds. Fish up there just tend to weigh way more than the fish around here. The fish around here are a little more skinnier. They're not as thick and they, they just don't weigh as much. Now, in case you guys were wondering, during this trip, I caught the majority of these fish on the fitty swimmers. The fitty swimmers absolutely wrecked it up there. Honestly, all the colors were doing well, but the turtle possum seemed to be the best. I caught the most fish and the biggest fish on the turtle possum. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to where you can get these fitty swimmers at cascrate.com. Make sure you click the link, use code 505010, get you a sweet little discount. I've been catching so many fish on these things since they dropped. I mean, huge small mouth, huge large mouth, big walleye, big pike. Literally everything has been, has been just tearing these up. But yeah, I had been just grinding it out, catching tons of 17 to like 19 and a half, 19 and three quarter inch fish. Hadn't hit that 20 inch mark. At least I hadn't hit the 20 inch mark when I had the actual like hog trough with me so I could measure it. The last day a huge storm system came in. We weren't even sure we were gonna get the fish. We were able to get out that evening. I wanted to hit a spot that we had hit four years prior that we had done really well at. And sure enough, we go, we go to the spot. First rock that I cast to, the first rock that I wanted to fish. First cast, boom, 20 inch smallmouth. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> oh, he got off. Or no, he's on. Oh, he's nice. Nice? Yeah. Like, real nice. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We don't have a net or anything. Like, everything's. F this is big. No way. Yeah, we're going into the rock now. Oh shit. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. This might be a 20. Oh shit. This is huge. It's like a 20 incher. Oh boy. You got the net ready? He's, he's gonna be ready soon. Oh, I'm so nervous. This is be this is a great way to end it. You can you can dip in the boat and hold on. Yeah. All right, hold on. Ready? Maybe. He's gonna come off. Tell me when. God, is he strong? Hey, Dad, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move the boat. Oh, oh. Oh, he's gonna be the boat. oh God. Yes. That might be a twenty. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is too. If not, he's close. Oh, that's a, that's a junk. <laughs> oh man, are you kidding me? It's close. Beautiful. He's a little. Body. He's a little thin, but dang, I that's thought he was long, bigger. That's still a long bag. Man, that's I thought he was bigger. That's still nice. Oh. Let's see. I doubt he's twenty. I thought he. Well, he looked twenty in the water. Yes. <laughs> it's just twenty. Are you kidding me? It is literally. <laughs> That's, beautiful fish. That's ridiculous. I've been wanting a 20 inch for the whole trip. He's not as fat though. Like I wish he was as fat as that like like yeah. 19 I caught. Like some of those 14 yeah. 15 inch right here. Yeah, just push it in. Just push that button. Yeah. Is it look good? Or the sun? Is the lighting bit? Ending sure. the trip on a 20 inch smallmouth. Been wanting a 20 inch smallmouth the whole trip. Finally got one. That's crazy. Not as fat as some other fish, but that's still definitely over four pounds. Probably four and a half. Maybe you know, getting close to five. Not quite five because he's he's not that fat. Man, when he first jumped, I thought he was absolutely huge. That's still a big fish, though. First cast in there. Man. There you go, just heading right down under the boat. You want to end it? I don't think we should. It's a good, I mean, that kind of made my trip anyway. It would have been nice if he was, like, chunky chunky, but that's still... That's still probably like low fours, you know, if I'm being conservative. That is a solid fish. The old turtle possum fitting swimmer. What are the odds first cast 20 inch fish? We almost, good, we almost didn't even come over here. So yeah guys, pretty incredible that I was able to catch that fish on the last day, on the last hour of the last day, in between thunderstorms, and it ended up being potentially my biggest fish of the trip, as far as the smallmouth go. It was definitely the longest one that I measured. We'll just say that. And it was an incredible way to end the trip. Now, bigger smallmouth were definitely caught. There was actually, I believe, a 22 and a half inch smallmouth caught. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see all of that because like I said, we caught hundreds and hundreds of fish. Literally almost every fish you catch up there is, is a specimen, like it's a nice fish, especially the smallmouth. They all seem to be in that like 17 and a half, 
to 20, 21 inch range, and then you sometimes get some of the giants, but they're all thick, they're all fat, they're all heavy, they're all strong. It is just such an incredible fishery up there, and I can't freaking wait to get back up there. But like I said, I'm going to be making a 45 minute to hour long movie style video that's just going to encompass the entire trip and just showcase all the all the amazing catches that that we we got up there so i hope you guys are excited for that i hope you guys are going to check that out and i also hope you guys enjoyed this video but that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please smash the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you next time